While going through some junk I had piled up in my closet, I came across the parts from my first PC build. Instead of getting rid of them, I wanted to turn them into something I'd use every day as a little memento to my first PC. I saw a post on Reddit where somebody used his friend's old processor to make a coaster. While his came out awesome, I wanted to see if I could incorporate some of the motherboard to make it look unique and have more of a PC system-like feel to it. To do this, my plan is to take a Dremel and cut out a square around the socket of the motherboard. Then, by using 3D printing, silicone molding, and epoxy resin casting, turn some of my first PC into an interesting looking coaster. Whenever you're cutting or sanding something that you probably shouldn't be breathing in, make sure you wear a painter's mask or respirator or something else to avoid breathing in the particles. Also, always wear eye protection because you never know when something's going to go wrong. Using a Dremel, I tried to first outline where I wanted to cut from the top of the motherboard and then finish those cuts on the bottom, since there's much easier cutting access on the bottom than there is on the top. I also ended up removing the heatsink that was hard mounted to the motherboard so I could finish outlining the cuts because it was in the way otherwise. Once I was all finished making the rough cuts, I sanded down the sides as best as I could to dull down the sharp edges. Now since I'm not an artist with a Dremel, the edges didn't come out as clean as I'd hoped for. So I'm going to need to design and 3D print a border to give the coaster a cleaner look. I designed the border of the coaster so the motherboard piece would fit in a pocket on the back side with the top edges of the print covering the edges of the motherboard. To create a silicone mold for the coaster, I also had to design and print a shell with the same dimensions I wanted for my final coaster. After printing this shell, I used a silicone molding kit, which I'll link in the description, to mix and pour liquid silicone around the shell. This usually takes about 12 hours to fully dry before the mold is created. Unfortunately, the shell kept floating up with the liquid silicone while it was drying, so I had to hold it down with an old processor cooler, creating this hole in the mold. While it's not pretty, it should do the trick, and just in case some resin leaks through the sides of my coaster, I covered up the hole in the mold with some packing tape. I ended up hot gluing the motherboard cutout to the 3D printed border and filled any holes on the motherboard piece with hot glue to keep the resin on the top side of the coaster while it was curing. Using a resin casting kit, which I'll link in the description, I mixed two liquid epoxy resin solutions for 7 minutes until it cleared up.
Unfortunately, the mixing process tends to introduce bubbles into the resin mixture. One way that I saw online to remove these bubbles is to use a heat gun or a hair dryer on the resin after pouring. During my first pour, I wanted to fill any spots that I thought air could get trapped in, and then used a hair dryer to get rid of as many bubbles as I could. After a few minutes of that, I poured the rest of the resin in and used the hairdryer again. After 12 to 14 hours, the resin cured, but unfortunately, I didn't do a good enough job removing all the air bubbles. To fix this, I'm going to sand down the coaster with 80 grit sandpaper until the bubbles are no longer on the top layer. After sanding down the bubbles on the top layer, to make the coaster clear again, I'm going to wet sand all the way up to 2000 grit and then finish with a polish. After polishing the coaster, I was planning on painting the sides black, but ended up actually liking how the matte finish looked on both the epoxy and the printed piece. Although there are some small imperfections and still some tiny air bubbles if you look up close, I'm extremely happy with how this small project came out. It's a bit big of a coaster, but I think it's pretty cool that it's made out of parts from my first PC build. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing. I'm planning to upload videos monthly, whether they're small scale videos or large scale videos. They'll have something to do with 3D printing, making stuff in general, and will sometimes have to do with PCs. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram, where I'll post pictures of the future videos I'm working on. Thank you again and have a great day.